Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 8, 2022. If you like support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and let's get to it. We'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, NASDAQ has rallied the last eight. Uh, trading say no, not a trade trading session, but five last trading session, and has hit the 50 moving average. So, question is whether or not we managed to break above the 50 moving average. We're at the top of the bullish band, and at the 50 moving average, we're also at an area here which has been significant in the past. This was the previous highs here and the previous lows here, which should offer a major resistance at around this area. So, if we get a close. Uh, candlestick above the 50 moving average then it is probably possible that we'll go towards the highs here or even the 200 moving average but at this current stage if we get rejected at this area and drop below the previous lows here then we may go to the very lows and much lower basically making it a lower low if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bullish, bullish, and the CASIC is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. We are at the 53 at the RSI, so there's a lot of room to the upside, and also now a lot of room to the downside if we were to continue this pattern of uh, dropping to the lows. So we have, we have had the 200 moving average offering uh, resistance, as we saw here. Uh, so we have it right there yes and we have had the 20 simple moving average offering resistance several times and also uh, occasionally the 50 moving average and we kind of tested the 50 moving average uh, quite often recently so so um the question is whether or not we basically break above that but we do have a pullback at the end of the session uh, we may see this rally above, but getting rejected here, getting a shooting star, and then it is kind of signal that we will continue going lower. So if you look at the uh, S&P 500, very similar here, hasn't rallied as much, but we're still uh, approaching an area around here that has been the previous lows and the previous highs, which we should offer uh, quite a lot of resistance. Also 50 moving average moving in this direction, 200 moving average moving in this direction and, and this, this should be an area of significant resistance if we manage to break above here then we may go and look at the previous highs up here at 4183 and probably the 200 moving average getting rejected here then we need to take out the lows of 3740 40 give or take and the lows before creating another low if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, yes, tomorrow um, is important um, data coming out for job num numbers in the United States. So, of course, that will have an effect on this. This was significantly oversold. So, a rally at this point was not, um, was kind of expected. Uh, the question is where sellers will come in or they do come in and continue um, selling this to the downside. So let's look at the Dow Jones, very similar here. The area of roughly 31.3K up towards 31.6K or the 50 moving average at 31.8K should be an area of uh, resistance. 50 moving average moving in this direction, 200 moving in this direction. We have the simple moving average right here. And we may see this rally up towards the 50 moving average and get rejected there. That is kind of what I am betting on. If we get a uh, close above the 50 moving average, we may go towards the previous highs here, 33.3 or the 200 moving average. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. So momentum at this current stage is definitely to the upside. So shooting star is kind of what I'm looking at for something similar to this and something similar to what well, don't have any other example of shooting star here but something similar to this basically running out of momentum exhaustion and then just plummeting to the downside but basically a kind of stick similar to that one so let's look at the european market it is kind of a lower place i said in the yesterday video that this was basically uh, fairly oversold and we also created a double bottom here and um, 
I wouldn't be surprised if we rallied up towards the 50, uh, 20 simple moving average or even a 50 moving average. So, so running, running up here, that's another uh, up towards 13K that could be possible or towards the 50 moving average around 13.5K. That is probably as far as this will go. If you look at Fibonacci retracements for uh, the highs and the lows here, we can see that uh, that uh, 50 is just around this area here. Breaking above that, then you have 61 at the 13.8K. And that, that's probably fairly optimistic considering that European economies are the outlook for the European commerce is terrible at this current stage. MACD is becoming uh, still bearish, but it is about to cross the signal line. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. And now we're at 41, not on the edge of being oversold as we were basically yesterday. So let's look at the Japanese yen, also uh, Japanese Nike, I was about Nike as opposed to say. So we are rallying here. And uh, as I have said, Previously, we have a double top here. Kind of uh, this area is basically the highest of this market. And then we have several, several bottoms here. So Nikki has been trading sideways, basically this kind of outlier here. But this wouldn't be surprise me if we went all the way up towards a, a 28K point, 28K. Um, as we basically have been trading sideways. If we break below this area here, then this um, lows of 24.5K will get uh, tested, breaking above here. And then we are looking at the 29.3 and then 29.9. In general, uh, Nikkei has been trending sideways, uh, basically downward for a really long time now, but as recently, recent month, it has basically gone sideways. If we look at technical ind indicators, we can see the MACD is about to become bullish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. There's a lot of room to the upside. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX has a gradual grind towards the 200 moving average, or that's what it looks like. 200 moving average moving in this direction. It has uh, offered resistant uh, support in the past and, the and drop the dropping towards this area here that most likely will basically be what people uh, or traders are looking for in order to start shorting again as this uh, increases well then uh, in the season stocks uh, tend to fall as volatility increases if you look at macd is still bearish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well and there's a lot of room to the ups and downside so we could see the stocks indices uh, rally in the next few trading days until we basically hit the uh, 200 moving average. If we break above the 50, then we may most likely will go and test it 33 and 34 and then beyond that. So let's look at the 10 year and 10 year continues to rally. So this was basically the bottom of this market and we have bounced from that point. At this current stage, we're testing the 50 moving average. If we break above that, then the 200 moving average, the 20 simple moving average comes into play, and then, then 3.255, and then towards the 3.5. After that, significantly higher. If we look at technical indicators, MACD is still bearish, but it is turning around. Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish, and there's a lot of room to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our. New videos, good luck and thank you very much.